Hi, Brandon here again with Hydroflex. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to clean and or replace your Y-strainer screen on our Grunfoss pumps. Because a clogged Y-strainer screen can significantly decrease the life of your pump, Hydroflex recommends that you clean your Y-strainer on a monthly basis. Before we get started, we will need a few tools for this. First off, we will need an adjustable wrench capable of opening up to an inch and a half. And we also need a wire brush or some compressed air to clean the screen. The first thing that we need to do is to turn off the inlet water supply to the pump. Once the water supply is turned off, you will need to bleed any residual pressure. To do this, you can manually open any valve by pressing the red button on the Aqualab panel. After bleeding residual pressure, we can use our adjustable wrench to remove the Y strainer cap. There will still be residual water remaining in the system that will bleed out as the cap is removed. We can take the cap and set it aside for right now. Next, we're going to remove the filter screen and clean it using a wire brush or with compressed air. Never clean your Y strainer screen with chemical. If the screen is unable to be cleaned or is damaged in any way, a Grunfoss Y strainer replacement screen can be ordered through Hydroflex. The new screen will be shipped with a blue gasket that is not needed and you can throw away. After cleaning your current screen or receiving a new screen, you can reassemble your Y strainer. First, we're going to put the screen back into the housing. Next, we're going to grab our cap and ensure that this black o-ring here is still intact and in good shape. If it's damaged in any way, you can order a replacement from Hydroflex. Now we're just going to take our cap, thread it back in until it's hand tight. Then we're going to grab our wrench and just give it a tiny little snug. And now we're ready to return water supply back to the pump by turning the ball valve back on. After this process, remember to reprime your pump. To reprime your pump, use an adjustable wrench to open the vent at the top of the pump stack. You'll hear air hissing out for a little while until water starts to flow out. Once water starts to flow out, you can then tighten to close. Next, we're going to turn the pump back on using our BFD provided by Hydroflex. Ensure your system maintains 200 PSI at the inlet to the Aqualab panel. If 200 PSI is maintained, you have successfully primed your pump. If you have any further questions about cleaning or replacing your Y strainer on your Grunfoss pump, you can give us a call at 952-808-3640 or you can visit us online at www.hydroflexinc.com. This is Brandon and I'll see you next time.